We're at the International School of Kenya today and we're doing another exciting Duracoat Spray for Change project. One of the objectives of this project is to nurture grassroots level talent. And by doing a workshop with students here, we hope to inspire them and help them get more creative. So over the next few months, they will be doing projects on the hoardings behind us. And we hope that the mural that our artists are doing today will be a good kickstart for that project. Anybody who knows anything about ISK knows how important the arts are to our school. Visual art, drama, music, dance is critical to our school. Uh, we believe that it really is, make, it's part of the learning experience for our students. It's what makes them real and, and whole and human. Artsco is a high school club here at ISK and our main goal is to educate people through the arts and so here we're working in conjunction with Photo which is a teacher and parent and artist um, organization and they work with local Kenyan artists to create beautiful murals and to share their work with the students here at ISK and to educate them in how they create their artwork. It's an art that students are aware of, but I don't think they know the work involved, the technique involved, the scale involved. I think that was one great idea and concept that they took away today was uh, the importance of the scale of the artwork, um, working with the unconventional medium, um, mural arts as opposed to fine arts uh, often tell a message uh, or conveying something and so the students it really starts to make the students think. If you really want to get out in the world and know so many things you have to research intensive extensive research it's a must. I'm an artist uh, I still have to read. Kids from the youngest to the oldest will be uh, adopting a section of the of the hoarding and painting that uh, in their own design, their own creativity, and sort of making that, that, that whole piece come alive. On the other side of that hoarding is, uh, is a project the school is working on, which is an expansion project uh, for the elementary school. And this, this whole idea of creating the artwork on the, on the hoarding just, just sort of brings that into focus for the, the parents and the school community but it also brightens up the whole uh, the, the campus. The most critical part of that is the whole notion of, of human expression and being able to express ideas through, through the arts. And so we celebrate that as many chances as we can get. And a mural project is a perfect way to do that. We're thrilled about the partnership that we have now with Vasco Paints because they have donated all the paint for this project. And, um, gathered the artists together and have facilitated the entire project together with the, uh, the school. What I really like about it is the face of the woman. Um, I just really like the depth that is created through the highlights and the shadows and I think it really embodies sort of the Kenyan spirit of sort of mural painting and the techniques that are used in that and the overall look of that. 